warning tonight about a popular website for caregivers. Con artists are tricking users with fake ads. Paul Kiska spoke with a woman who lost thousands of dollars. Police reports show the victims of these caregiver scams were in their late teens or early 20s, and now they're out of thousands of dollars. Westlake police say the criminals target young female caregivers who apply for ads looking for someone to care for an elderly loved one, or in the case of a 23-year-old Westlake woman, the female caller told her she needed someone to care for a child injured in a car accident. The caller said she was sent a $3,000 check, so the caregiver could buy the child a wheelchair. Once the check was deposited, the caller said just write a check to the family instead of buying the wheelchair. But the original check was bad. The victim out $3,000 after wiring money she thought was for an injured child. They send the money either by wire or otherwise to the address that they're given. So they're actually out the cash. So I deposited the check and waited a day, thinking that because it went through with the bank, it was a good check. At least three victims in Westlake and one in Rocky River. The 23-year-old victim told me by phone it was a hard lesson to learn. I just had to learn the hard way, and it's bad you can't trust people now. They take advantage of people. While the average loss was about $3,000, police say the actual checks were made out for specific amounts or off amounts like $2,884 to make the checks look authentic as if that was the price of the actual merchandise that was going to be purchased. But again, it was all a scam. From the Westlake Police Department, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.